you can use the uh, shadow that the staff makes to is erecting the solar wind experiment now. Solar wind, of course, is not a wind as we know it on Earth here. That is something you feel against your cheek. It's a, it's a flow of protons from, from the sun. Some of these small depressions uh, big and you tend to think surface which they already have contaminated with the uh, with the descent engine and by their presence then get down below that contamination also get a sample of core uh, down to oh, almost a foot or so I think it is no isn't it 16 inches 16 inches exactly get a little something more than they can get by scraping on the surface yeah. itself You know, they started out, be started out behind time on this. I and guess you're the up. only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. Yes, this is the flag, not the core sample. That's all right, I don't mind a bit. I <laughs> call says he doesn't mind a bit not having television right now. How is the quality of the TV? Oh, it's beautiful, Mike. It really is. There it is. Look a U.S. flag on the surface of the moon. Yes, indeed. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the limit. Beautiful, just beautiful. Yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, that
leg is on a frame. There is no wind to hold it uh, out like that, of course. The, it's a three by five flag, and it's a, it's got a it's got a frame of its own to hold it out. Nothing more really is needed here, but it does seem that there ought to be some music. <laughs> Very good. he moves back. I think they're taking pictures of each other with a house of lot camera. Yep. Exactly what they're doing. The first tourist on the moon. From their description, it sounds like some place we might want to go after all. Aldrin called it magnificent desolation, Armstrong's stark beauty all its own. Different from the United States desert, but very pretty out here. As you said, Wally, the first kind words about the moon from 69 miles up or even 10 miles up was Apollo 10. They didn't think it was so pretty. These fellows on the surface think that there's something about it. Neil, this is Houston Radio Check Over. Maybe they think of it not so pretty, but it's their own. Roger, Houston, clear. Roger, I'm clear, Houston. Roger, bud. Well, I like the idea of not claiming it, but I think they can claim it for now, at least. <laughs> That's right. It's theirs today. They can't claim it under the Declaration of the United Nations, the United Nations Resolution, which uh, we all agreed to, that we would not claim the moon or use it for military purposes. So this planting of a flag is not the old... Uh, uh, 16th, 15th, 16th, 17th century business of planting a flag and claiming territory. It's to put the United States flag there to let the world know that we're there. To sense the pride the American people feel in this tremendous accomplishment and the contribution they've made to it. the uh, various spaces that a person can traveling on the Oh, beautiful. 